YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel today. I thought it was about time I did another jean review and this time it's my sugar canes. I've had some of you guys request that I do a video on the sugar canes. These are the SC4 2014. They're a 12 ounce uh, slim taper jean. They're absolutely amazing. They're super comfortable. I wear them in the summer and I've pr pretty much worn them uh, throughout the summer to and from the office. They're just a super comfortable jean. So let's get into the review of these and see what they're like. Okay, so here are my sugarcane jeans. This is the model SC4 2014. But before I go into the jeans themselves, it's probably worth me just covering a little bit about uh, sugarcane as the, the brand and uh, a little bit more about their history. So they are actually owned by another company in Japan called Toyo Enterprises. And Toyo Enterprises are, I think they're the biggest uh, company in Japan for American casual wear. And if you didn't know, uh, Japan has a, a love affair with all things Americana. They have a, a love affair with American military in World War II uh, and just um, cowboys and all that kind of stuff. That's why jeans uh, and uh, denim is so massive in Japan. Now, if you don't know, uh, Toyo Enterprises actually uh, supplied American soldiers in Japan um, in and around 1965. So they get that uh, actual authentic uh, military history. Uh, but they also own a lot of uh, brands that you probably still know and love today. So they are actually the owners of Buzz Rickson's uh, and they also own the Native American inspired Indian motorcycle and then also the retro uh, brand, which is Star of Hollywood. But also they uh, they give uh, they give uh, designs uh, to Mr. Freedom, which is in Los Angeles. And then also uh, you would say Sugarcane, probably their, you know, they're undoubtedly their biggest best known brand. Um, so sugarcane themselves are uh, known for the, the, the name is you know because they uh, do a lot of kinds of denim with sugarcane fibers and that kind of brings down the cotton uh, consistency and then less cotton they use the less environmental impact that kind of thing saying that this gene itself is actually 100% cotton from what I can tell it's really difficult online to find out much information about that but with all that being said let's uh, discuss this gene so as I said, this is the Sugarcane SC4 2014. Doing some research on this, I was finding it a little bit difficult to find out the variations of their models. So uh, you'll see this online as the 1947 Type 3, uh, or there's also the 1947 Type 2. And from what I can find, they do an American uh, 1947 reproduction, and they just call it the 1947. And that is a standard cut and it's around 14.25 ounces. Then they do a model called the 2009, which is a 12 ounce as well. And they call that uh, the type two. And then the 2014, which is this model, they call this the type three. So it's a, it's a succession. So 1947 is just 1947. Then you have uh, type two, which is 2009 and type three, which is 2014. And what they are is they are a take on the 1947. So they've taken the 1947, They've slimmed it down for 2019 and they've done some more work on it for 2014. So it's the 1947 Type 2 and the 1947 Type 3. Really, really confusing. I know, I understand, but that's what, what it is. So this is the SC4 2014, otherwise known as the 1947 Type 3. Wow, that was a mouthful. So these are a slim fit while reproducing the genes from the late 1940s. The main difference with this to the 1947 or the standard model uh, is the rise is a lot uh, slightly shallower, not a lot shallower, slightly shallow, shallower, and it's it's a little bit straighter as well. Um, these jeans are sort of more aimed at people that want to wear sneakers or lace up boots because it has a more of a, a, a slimmer fit than the standard 1947 that these guys make. So let's get into the look of them. They are a very, uh, when you're talking about, you know, historic reproductions you'll find there's not many embellishes there's not many different design cues that they would put on them so you'll find these kind of plain as such to to, to, to the naked eye but um, they are still very unique in their own way coming on to the back you'll see two things one the uh, the leather patch this is a deer skin leather patch they also paint this or treat it tan it I guess with uh, an astringent, um, so that helps to age, I guess. Uh, but you can see this one here that it is, um, I've worn this quite a lot actually. So th this is all worn down and you can hardly see the, um, 
the actual design and the logo so you have to get it in the right light to see it but um, it does say uh, this is lot 2014 it's a waist 33 and a leg 34 and it's got the sugarcane train on it quality mark etc etc other thing you'll notice is the back pockets are just plain they don't have any kind of id on them and that is kind of i guess a historical reproduction if we flip it over to the back let's start with that right this is the back now to give you some history history about this uh, i've owned these for quite a number of years now i don't know exactly when i bought these i have had these jeans for uh, for I bought these jeans a long time ago where I wasn't really into documenting and that kind of stuff. So I don't really know where and when I bought these, but let's safely say it's at least five, six years. They are a 12 ounce jean. So they are truly a summer jean. They're extremely light. They're extremely airy. They're not as uh, slim tapered, you know, as some of the other jeans I own. So I personally find them a little bit relaxed jeans. Um, so they are a slim silhouette compared to the 1947 model, which is the SC4-1947, 1947. Um, so <clears throat> some people might, might say they're a little bit uh, baggy. Some might say they're a little bit slim. I think they're just a really, really nice jean for summer because it's really hot and really humid. They don't uh, cling to you uh, because of just the cut. So I, I really like these jeans for summer. I've worn them so much that the fabric is gone really, really soft. And you can see down in the crotch area here, I haven't actually blown through these yet, but that is just like buttery thin, buttery soft, you know. So if we go to the back here, you'll see this consistent wear everywhere. Uh, back pockets, as I said, they are just plain. They are unlined. Obviously it's a really thin jean, they are unlined. You'll see the belt loops are sewn in. Uh, the unique thing about these, I like the belt loops, is there's a lot of over, I don't know what you call that, someone tell me in the comments, but uh, the, they've made them really long and they're all the way around, there's a lot of extra uh, belt loop just there, whereas the others are usually just sewn in like normal. Uh, lovely yellow stitching throughout, double stitched all the way around the pockets there. You'll see the wear, uh, I guess, on the back of the belt loop as standard because I am, again, I was, you know, office working. Uh, and then what I really like is on the edge of the pockets, you'll see I'm um, burning through here. This is great. I don't have any, I don't wear, um, I don't put keys or I don't have a wallet or anything like that in my pocket. So nothing really gets sort of imprinted here. You've got a consistent wear. Now I'll say, I don't know how many times I've washed this or whatever, but I tell you what, I have worn these to death in the summer. They've been through thick and thin. They have had, um, covered in water, sweat, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, they've, they've been through the ringer as such uh, and they've held up well. And the, the reason I say that is they've not actually, you know, the crotch hasn't blown out yet. And I find that really amazing for such a thin pair of jeans, considering I have thicker jeans, you know, uh, 18 ounce, 21 ounce, etc., that have blown through really easily. I've had these for the, about the same amount of time and they've not actually gone through yet. So I find that really amazing. The one thing I have found is the stitching has come undone in a lot of places, which is fine, I guess. So you'll see here in the crotch, we have this uh, bit of stitching come undone, but that's uh, fine. Nothing's coming apart, I guess. Um, and I'll show you more of that as we, as we go along. If I go down to the backs of the knees, not really much to say about the whiskering, I guess, or the honeycomb. There isn't much to be seen there. It's a thin pair of jeans, right? So it doesn't really bunch up on itself like some of the thicker jeans do so it's sort of i would say because it's thinner and softer and the, the fabric's really easy to not bunch up you get less friction and less uh chance of this happening that also coupled with i've probably washed this probably too many times uh so maybe it's washed it out i guess but that's all very standard there is this little pinch point here that i see I've seen on a couple of pairs of my jeans. I don't know why, maybe it's just the way my knee goes, but I've got a pinch point there. The backs of my ass, I guess. Uh, these have worn really well uh, thin down here. This is probably just sitting on seats all day, you know. Uh, same on that side as well. If we go to the front now, this is where probably the most of the wear has happened. Uh, again, you'll see the phone. So I've had my phone over time, 
bunches up there. I usually see the pinch point here blows through, but again, the fabric's so soft and not as tight to the body that I don't think that's happened as much. Uh, you'll see here the stitching has come undone on the pocket, uh, which is fine. And you would expect when you come through that maybe the pocket bag would come undone, but the pocket bag, pocket bag is still intact here um, because the top stitching hasn't come undone. I imagine if that top one came undone, then you would see the pocket bag coming down. But you know, that's still, I like that, still holding together really well. Um, the watch pocket <coughs> is, uh, is is looking good, I guess. It has a the, the salvage line ID in there. Now uh, the sugar cane uses a pink salvage line ID and I'll show you that down here. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, there you go, it's pink double line salvage ID, really like that throughout. But that you can see that in the pocket bag as well. Now buttons and rivets, so the rivets are actually, they look like uh, copper, I think, and they have on them uh, SC and Co TY, so that's Sugarcane and Co Toyo Enterprises. Now the, that's the rivets, the buttons are uh, iron and they are very similar, I'll just open this up. See how easy that opens up, it's just so soft. Uh, these, these are actually the same thing, they just say Sugarcane and Co, um, Toyo and Co uh, PL, and they are just standard iron rivets, so uh, buttons, sorry, so you've got iron buttons and um, brass or something, rivets. Now, the other side, let's have a look, same kind of thing really. You've got the wear there, I don't really put much in there except my wallet, little card wallet goes there. Uh, the stitching is coming on again on the bottom one, not the top one, which is quite interesting. And then inside the pocket, uh, pocket bag, you have the lot number. So there you go, SC4 2014, highest quality sugarcane. And at the bottom, toyoenterprises.co.jp. Uh, on the inside of the belt loop here, it also had something else. I say had, because I have no idea what it is frayed to hell. You can see there, I don't know what that said. If anyone knows, let me know. While we're on the inside, let's have a look at the pocket bags. Very standard pocket bags. They feel uh, really thick though, nice, thick pocket bags. Nothing has fall, fallen apart. Uh, if you compare this to my Pure Blue Japan NC11s, which are really thin, these just feel like a canvas kind of like don't know what it is, like a, it's super thick. I don't see these coming apart anytime soon. On the inside, you'll see there is uh, some indigo dye that's transferred onto the pocket bags. But yeah, look at those pocket bags, lovely stitching all the way around. They look like they're in brand new condition almost. Let's look at the other one. You'll see the other one there, looks quite good. Again, nothing untoward with that. Have the uh, indigo transferred through as well. If we come back to the front, let's just have a look. Lower leg parts, I guess. Uh, not again, not too much to talk about. Left side here of the knee <clears throat> is uh, a little bit more worn than the right side, and that is I don't know why. I don't, I mean, as I said, I work in an office, but it, I guess if you're going to go down onto your knees to pick something up or whatever, I favor my left side. It's quite, it's quite good. It tells a story, I guess. Um, you've got these little whiskers here on the side just from bunching up as well. Not too much to talk about there. They are very uh, con consistent with the wear all the way down there. Now, as I said that these are, th this model is a more um, different silhouette than the 1947, which is a more straight. So these taper from the knees just a little bit. And I think the way it's been woven, it's been woven on a power loom. So that gives it a kind of a vertical uh, look to the weave. So you can see that sometimes that like if you look Oh, you can see it anywhere really, but you can see if you look at that in the right light, you can see the vertical weave, um, which is really, really cool. I like that compared to some of the other jeans I have. Um, if we go down to the bottom, I won't really, you can see the, uh, the chain stitch on there is very neat. I think I might've had these hemmed because it does look a lot thicker, that chain stitch, but these would have been done on the Union Special at Rivet and Hyde in London. They've got a Union Special machine there. Uh, if I fold this right down, I'm still, again, I'm still amazed that they've worn these so much and they haven't really broken through. So 
Again, it's probably because it's such a more of a relaxed fit, but you can see there we're starting to break through the bottom. Same on that side, but no real uh, blowouts on that, on that bit there. As I showed you before, we have the pink selvage line ID. Uh, if I go to the inside, you'll see around, uh, this is the underneath crotch area where I showed you on the outside before, was not really breaking through, super, super soft. Just looking at it now, you see that this uh, chain stitching has come undone right at the bottom there, where the, you know there's the join. Right at the bottom, the chain stitch is undone, and I don't want to pull it, but if you if you see there, that's coming apart uh, right at the bottom. So I mean, it looks like it's coming apart well before it's actually going to blow out, to be honest. Um, so that's that's quite unique, interesting, but still amazed it hasn't done that as yet. And that, that's really it, you know, that, like I can't really sort of detail any more about these jeans uh, other than that they're really, really uh, nice pair of jeans to have for summer. I still wear them. I've been wearing them this week. Uh, it's not summer, I know, but uh, I've been wearing them this week when the weather's, you know, well enough. Uh, they're still readily available. So get yourself a pair of these if you're interested. Uh, sugar cane. They're a unique pair of jeans and something different to have. Right, that's it guys, hope you enjoyed that. That's my Sugarcane SC42014. Uh, they're still readily available. I know Self Edge have them, they have their own website from Sugarcane, uh, and they're just a great jean to have. So if you're looking for a pair of jeans that you can wear all through the summer, really comfortable, super soft, as I said, uh, you can't get wrong with a pair of these. Uh, and that's it really. If you enjoyed that, give me a comment down below. I'd like to know what you think about that. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. I'm going to do more of these in the future. With that being said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.